must be blocked from the other side.
Cautious around here. Mm-hmm. <gasps> 
Alcadesia will want this.
Well, Fochibis, Aida, Mures, Lekne, Hegres, Tristes, in all Cupido, Neque sape malale pope. Give me a hand with this! Give me a hand! 
Rich Pickings here! Over here! to me if wisdom you seek Ooh. I am here old man tell me your tale three young men came to me not long ago braggarts full of drink and sin death had claimed a friend of theirs so they set out to find death and teach him a lesson that is foolish 
We Norse do not seek to control death. We embrace it. Aye. But rudely they demanded of me. Tell us where to find death. You are old. You must know him. Look no further, said I. He is under the great oak in the forest behind me. And that is where they went. A strange tale. One that lingers like a terrible dream. Is this the great oak the old man spoke of? Death. So this is what the old man meant. But what happened here? By his pallor, I would say poison took this one's life. What was he reaching for, I wonder? Strangled. That is no bandit's work. Killed by poison. No sign of a struggle. He must have taken it unknowingly. Food and ale. But why make a camp here if they were searching for death, as the old man said? some part in this sorry scene. The three men found hidden treasure beneath the tree. They made camp by the side outside of the Two of them turned on the third. But he was one step ahead of them and had already poisoned their ale. So the glister of silver drove these greedy fools to murder. Seems they found death after all. Or death found them. Rubbish and rotting food. In his fear, he barricaded himself inside. Little wonder the rats came. He was terrified. Believed himself cursed after killing a she-wolf and her cub. These are the ramblings of a madman. But the animals... I cannot deny they tormented him. Smells like a trap. You mock old Casper. Stone soldiers hopping in and out, in and out, like robins on a woodpile. What troubles you, old man? 
Please. I'll beg you. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Don't drag your ropes through the dirt. Your stone sentries. I have counted them. And? How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? There are twenty-one. I am as sure as I can be. See? Never the same. Never the same. Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. Cannot get the same number twice. Never the same. Never the same. Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats. Now there are 26. How can this be? See? Never the same. Never the same. Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. This is madness. They change each time. Don't close your eyes, or they'll steal the glinting flint. Scrabble it away. Perhaps there are 23. Ha! They have bewitched you too. Twirl and spin and dance and grin. Pyrak, it comes to bite your shin. Who came crawling from the moor like a fat black rabbit without any legs? I see you, glisten little imp. 27, 21, 23, 24, 22, 22, 22. I, I don't know how to help you. It seems as if the stones appear and disappear at will. You should not stay here. Leave. Leave before they claim you. Just scream your toy with me. Casting his magics in England. That stone. Was it here before? Where is my mad friend? Damn this cursed place.
widely to become wise, for all things are too easy at home, and the ignorant who sit among wise men will be mocked. If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to their hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. I only want to squabble a little. They have plenty to share. <clears throat> I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. <laughs> Come sit and wait with me. She'll be here soon. Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. There you are, Winifred! I got you honey! Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye. And thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. A strange fellowship. But then friendship can often be found in unexpected places. What happened, little one? Mummy's ring! I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that! There is the bird's nest. Something fell from the nest. Here you! Take your hands off my property! That ring is mine! Give it back, I say! Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother! My husband gave me that ring. 
My stepdaughter stole it from me. She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father, when all I've tried to show her is kindness. She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead. Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him, dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. I have your mother's ring. Be careful in future. You should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. She agreed that you should have it. Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to mother about it. Farewell, then. ancient kingdom of Kent. The Jutes have brought me to where his fire burns through traces of the Nephilim. Here the Lord speaks to me again. He warns of betrayals, of struggles, of the trials of the first ones. I do not always understand his message. If he is warning me, it is because he believes I am worthy. He says there is one angel still trapped. She who must be released joined. Must I find her? like a laying hen. I'm the one with the broken leg. Someone is stuck. My brother, chasing some foolish legend that if you see old Hisser from above and catch his tail, he will grant you a wish. And what of your leg? Likely sprained, trying to climb up to rescue him. <laughs> we are a sorry pair. Stop clucking like a laying hen. I'm the one with the broken leg. At least grab old Hisser's tail while you're up there. Hey, 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 hey God. Got our Are there snakes up here too? All right, all right. Yeah. Well, you'll have to get down somehow. Can you see a haystack or something? A haystack? Are you mad? From this height? That's certain death. No, my fate is sealed. I will just wait <laughs> up here to die. One. 
I'll help you down. But how is a big, strong Norse like yourself afraid of heights? And snakes! I don't know how I let my brother talk me into these schemes. I think I just give in to his endless golding. But I'm sick to the back teeth of him. Climb up on it. Go in that cave of wolves on it. Eat that red mushroom. Siblings are a source of great joy and equal misery. I too have a brother. Does yours put you in the moor of death every opportunity he gets? Come, let's get you down. And perhaps you can tell him how you feel. Talk of my feelings to my brother. I would rather let the snakes gnaw on my tender parts. This way? It's too high to get down from here. There, the ladder. Watch your step. Which way now? This way? There! Another slithering devil waiting to get me. Thank you, stranger, for bringing this waste of breath back to me. You're welcome. But what is the story you spoke of? Old Hisser? A pretty legend. He who catches Old Hisser's tail will find her heart's wish granted. I found such a story in a manuscript up in the tower. Then may it bring you more luck than it did us. Maybe you will even solve the serpent's mystery. Farewell. May Odin litter your path with riches. Goodbye. Keep each other safe. For a good brother is the truest treasure from the gods. Now see, you big lump. All that wailing, it was as easy as a hop and a jump. <laughs> Keep that up, and I'll leave you here for the wolves. <laughs> oh. No. Look at your leg. Is it truly broken? No, sprained is all. But I'd like to see you get by without me. Couldn't even climb down a ladder without mewing like a new. The seer will want this.
surprises await me this time. Good day. What is your name? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. And are you a flighter? When the mood strikes. Do you wish to flight with me? Oh, no, certainly not. I don't engage in such things. Haven't a head for it. My brother, however, he is quite proficient. Ah, then you wish to compete with me. I should mention, my brother has taken a strict vow of silence. If you wish to flight, I will translate and relay his verses. I think I understand. Good. Hark! To those gathered round, wave your hands and rejoice. I shall trounce this poor fool without use of my voice. Such is his challenge. Do you wish to face him? I'll happily challenge you. Sorry, him. Here you are, my bet. Good. Now remember, it is not me you are flighting. I am but a conduit for his words. I will keep this well in mind. Good. He is ready. Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy, I'll call you a milksop and boor. Though you speak through another, your flighting's still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. Though you choose to be quiet, your folly is loud. Oh my! Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. With such drivel to speak, I see why you keep mum. Very fine work. As an impartial observer, I must say you won. Thank you. My brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. What are you 
same. The red sparrow will settle in the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> Kent is in disarray. How so? No one to lead us. No hand upon the helm. Alfred will choose a new elderman. He already has, and yet we know nothing, and now all trace of the edict is gone. Someone will step up, take the reins, and it will be as it ever is. They will lead, and we will follow. You have the curiosity of a day-dead flounder. One leg. <gasps> Who will lose it, her or me? Who is that man talking to? Matilda. Pixie's the future. Loki's twisted threads. What trick is this? None. You drink, pig speaks. <clears throat> Hello, pig? <laughs> I must drink more to get clearness on your words, pig. <sighs> clearness. That is such a strange word. Is that a word? I... Uh, I don't feel anything. Are you a talking pig? I, Matilda the Seer, lift the veil. Shall I show you what is to come, Raven? Betrayal burns your blood, Raven Feeder. Brother against brother till wolves devour the sky. Hello, pig? <coughs> In water, iron then shall float. As easy as a wooden boat. Iron? I'm... What madness do you spoke? Who are you? A seeker? A wanderer? A killer? Woman or man? <sighs> you wear a magician's cloak and speak to ravens. Whatever was in that room, it was powerful and mind-twisting. In water, iron then shall float. As easy as a wooden boat. Iron? Uh, what madness do you spoke, devil? Hello, pig? In water, Iron then shall float, as easy as a wooden boat. Iron? Uh, what madness do you spout, devil?
What? Black spirits torment this land. Jet, need to get on the other side. Troll curse corruption lurks here.
Calciamenta sunt mihi. Pono autem ut deos vult hoc esse. Heic patia in nominis sui gloria. Right. 